Tanner Gadaska's perfect 10 at lower trestles. Tanner fell victim of a mid-season rotation we had a few years before, but he just got to prove it to himself. He finally got to swing at lowers with everything he had, knowing that there's a few years behind him where he was always wondering if he'd get to do it. Tanner, that 10 is so memorable. Uh, one of my favorite 10s in lowers history. Freddie Patacia Jr. went to lower trestles and did the unthinkable. Fred didn't want to win the heat. He didn't want to slow down Medina and Bede's role. He was trying to convince Bede or Medina to force him into an interference so his score would get clipped. And it just made perfect sense that the way he would go out in history would be with the 10 and just drop the mic. Uh, that's gotta go down in history on one of the best retirement moves ever. Stephanie Gilmore's perfect 10 back in 2014 at Lower Trestles was incredibly special. First of all, it was the first time the women had lowers as a venue. So it goes down in history and probably one of the best finals surf. With a 9.5 and a 10, that's one for the record books. Ellie Slater got a perfect 10 at the Boost Mobile Pro back in 2008 over Kieran Perot the early stages of the event. This 10 was really special. It's because his approach was really, really radical, progressive, throwing a big air at the finish. It was definitely Kelly at his prime, where he could control situations and land everything he went for. Do you like that? Well, if so, Subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there and then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.